Welcome to Total 2013's Smart Adjust. Since it handles both numeric and non-numeric adjustments, it's way more powerful than other adjustment tools on the market. Here, we'll show you how to make adjustments to numeric fields on your comp grid. There are three types of automatic adjustments you can make to numeric fields. Dollars per unit, percentage of comparable cell price per unit, and finally, percentage of comparable cell price per square foot per unit. Let's look at one of each. First, the most common automatic adjustment is the dollar per unit adjustment. For this example, we'll make a $1,500 per year adjustment for the actual age of the property. Simply enter 1500 into the adjustment field for actual age. Smart Adjust automatically places a dollar sign to indicate you are making a dollar per unit adjustment, which is the default. Notice how it automatically applies the adjustment to all comparables. Next, we'll make a 0.17% per month adjustment to the date of sale time field. This equates to about a 2% per year increase in sale price. To do this, enter 0.17% into the adjustment field for date of sale time. Smart Adjust calculates how many calendar months it has been since the settled date of that comparable, then applies the 0.17% per month adjustment to each one. Now let's adjust by the percentage of comparable sold price per square foot per unit. This is most often used in the GLA field. Let's apply an adjustment of 50% of the comp's sold price per square foot per unit. To do this, enter 50% SF into the adjustment field for GLA. The adjuster does all the calculation for you and enters the adjustment for each comp. Often, your market might not adjust for small differences in homes, such as the difference between a home with a GLA of 5,110 square feet and a home with 5,120 square feet. Smart Adjust allows you to enter a threshold that says it must be at least X before applying the adjustment. There are three types of thresholds you can set in Smart Adjust. Unit thresholds, which means only adjust if the difference in units is at least X. Dollar thresholds, which means only adjust if the total adjustment is at least X number of dollars. Finally, percentage thresholds, which means only adjust if the adjustment value is at least X percentage of the comparable sale price. Let's set a unit threshold on the date of sale time field. The units for this field are months. We only want to make adjustments on properties that sold at least four months ago. So we'll enter in the number four in the threshold field. Unit threshold is the default, so no modifier is needed. You've now told Smart Adjust, only adjust comparables that sold at least four months ago. See how comps one and three don't show an adjustment now as they sold less than four months before the subject. Now, let's set a threshold of $15,000 to the GLA. Enter $15,000 in the threshold field next to GLA. You've now told Smart Adjust, don't apply adjustments that are lower than $15,000. See how the $13,693 adjustment that was on Comp 3 has been removed. Finally, let's add a 1.5% threshold to the actual age. Enter 1.5% in the threshold field next to actual age. You've now told Smart Adjust, don't apply adjustments that are less than 1.5% of that comparable sale price. The only adjustment that is applied now is Comp 2, as all the other adjustments were under 1.5% of the comp sale price. Thanks for taking a moment to see how Smart Adjust works with numeric fields. For more information, you can access the user's guide by pressing F1 or clicking any of the help links found in Smart Adjust.